a mountain of money Harvard's endowment. Harvard University, a name synonymous with academic excellence, is not just a beacon of learning and innovation, it also stands as a financial powerhouse, with an endowment that is the envy of educational institutions worldwide. This endowment, the largest of any university globally, is a testament to the institution's ability to attract and manage vast financial resources. It is a complex and sophisticated financial entity, designed to ensure the university's longevity and ability to thrive in perpetuity. Like a vast reservoir of financial resources, Harvard's endowment provides a crucial lifeline for the university's operations. It is meticulously managed by a team of financial experts who navigate the intricate world of investments to maximize returns and minimize risks. The endowment supports a wide array of initiatives from groundbreaking research that pushes the boundaries of human knowledge to the development of cutting-edge technologies that have the potential to change the world. It also plays a pivotal role in making education accessible to talented students from all walks of life providing scholarships and financial aid that enable them to pursue their academic dreams without the burden of financial constraints. Additionally, the endowment ensures the preservation and maintenance of Harvard's historic and iconic buildings, allowing the university to maintain its rich heritage while providing state-of-the-art facilities for its students and faculty. However, managing such a vast financial empire is not without its challenges. The endowment, despite being managed by some of the brightest financial minds, is not immune to the volatility and unpredictability of the global financial markets. There have been times when the endowment has faced significant setbacks, raising questions about the strategies employed and the decisions made by those at the helm. How did an institution renowned for its intellectual prowess stumble in the complex world of investment management? These moments of financial turbulence offer valuable lessons. They highlight the importance of adaptability, foresight, and the need for a robust risk management framework. What lessons can we glean from the missteps of an endowment designed to secure Harvard's future for generations to come? By examining these challenges and the responses to them, we can gain insights into the complexities of managing large-scale endowments and the strategies that can help ensure their stability and growth. Ultimately, Harvard's endowment is more than just a financial asset. It is a cornerstone of the university's mission to educate, innovate, and lead. It embodies the commitment to excellence that defines Harvard and ensures that the university can continue to make a profound impact on the world, now and in the future. As we look to the future, the endowment will undoubtedly continue to play a crucial role in shaping the university's path. Through careful stewardship and strategic investment, it will help Harvard remain at the forefront of education and research, fostering the next generation of leaders and thinkers. In conclusion, Harvard's endowment is a remarkable financial entity that supports the university's mission in myriad ways. It is a testament to the power of strategic financial management and the enduring value of investing in education. As it continues to grow and evolve, it will remain a vital force in ensuring that Harvard can fulfill its mission of excellence for generations to come. The Architect, Ron Daniel, and the Rise of HMC In the late 1980s, Harvard's endowment, though substantial, lagged behind its peers. The university, known for its academic excellence and prestigious reputation, found itself in a precarious position. The endowment, which was meant to support the institution's long-term financial health, was not performing as expected. This was a time when other Ivy League schools were making significant strides in growing their endowments, leaving Harvard at a disadvantage. Enter Ron Daniel, a former McKinsey consultant with a bold vision. Daniel was not just any consultant, he was a visionary with a deep understanding of financial markets and a knack for strategic thinking. His experience at McKinsey had equipped him with the skills needed to tackle complex financial challenges. He saw an opportunity to revolutionize Harvard's approach to managing its endowment. I was tasked with transforming Harvard Management Company, the entity responsible for managing the university's endowment. This was no small feat. The HMC was a traditional organization accustomed to conventional investment strategies. My goal was to introduce innovative approaches that would not only enhance the endowment's performance, but also ensure its sustainability for future generations. Daniel, with his sharp intellect and unwavering determination, was tasked with transforming Harvard Management Company, HMC, 
the entity responsible for managing the university's endowment. His approach was methodical and strategic. He began by assembling a team of top-tier financial professionals, each bringing a unique set of skills and expertise to the table. Together they embarked on a journey to redefine HMC's investment strategy. Daniel's arrival ushered in an era of change, one marked by a shift towards alternative investments and a relentless pursuit of market-beating returns. He believed that diversification was key to mitigating risks and maximizing returns. Under his leadership, HMC began exploring new asset classes, including private equity, real estate, and hedge funds. This was a bold move, as it deviated from the traditional investment strategies that had long been the norm. Was Daniel's vision of transforming HMC into an investment powerhouse the right path for Harvard's endowment? The results were promising. The endowment's performance improved significantly, and Harvard began to close the gap with its peers. However, this new approach was not without its challenges. The increased complexity of the investment portfolio required rigorous oversight and management. There were concerns about the potential risks associated with alternative investments. Did his strategy sow the seeds of future challenges? While the initial results were positive, the long-term impact of Daniel's strategy remained to be seen. The financial landscape was constantly evolving, and HMC needed to stay agile and adaptable. The success of Daniel's vision would ultimately depend on the ability of HMC to navigate the complexities of the market and continue delivering strong returns for Harvard's endowment. The Big Bet private equity, and the promise of outsized returns. Private equity has long been seen as a realm of high stakes and potentially high rewards, attracting investors who are willing to take on significant risk for the chance of outsized returns. Daniel's strategy centered on reducing reliance on traditional stocks and bonds. He believed that the conventional approach of investing in public markets was no longer sufficient to achieve the ambitious financial goals set for Harvard's endowment. Instead, he steered HMC towards alternative investments, particularly private equity and hedge funds. These asset classes, though more volatile and less liquid, offered the potential for higher returns that could significantly boost the endowment's value. These illiquid, opaque and often complex investments promised higher returns, but they also came with their own set of challenges. The lack of transparency and the difficulty in valuing these investments made them a risky proposition, a lure too tempting to resist in the pursuit of maximizing Harvard's wealth. The potential for substantial gains was a powerful motivator, driving the decision to allocate a significant portion of the endowment to these high-risk investments. Were these high-risk, high-reward bets a gamble worth taking? The stakes were incredibly high, with the future of Harvard's academic enterprise hanging in the balance. The success or failure of these investments could have far-reaching implications for the university's financial health. With the future of Harvard's academic enterprise hanging in the balance, the endowment's performance directly impacts the university's ability to fund scholarships, research, and other critical initiatives. A misstep in investment strategy could jeopardize these essential programs. Did the allure of quick riches overshadow the principles of prudent investment management? The tension between the desire for rapid financial growth and the need for careful, responsible stewardship of the endowment's assets was a constant challenge. Balancing these competing priorities required a nuanced understanding of both the opportunities and the risks involved in private equity investments. The decision to pursue private equity was not made lightly. It involved extensive research, due diligence, and a deep dive into the potential benefits and pitfalls of this investment strategy. The goal was to ensure that the endowment could continue to grow while also safeguarding the university's long-term financial stability. As the endowment's managers navigated this complex landscape, they had to remain vigilant, constantly reassessing their strategies and making adjustments as needed. The dynamic nature of private equity required a proactive approach to investment management. The support of Harvard's alumni and donors was also crucial. Their contributions provided a buffer, helping to mitigate some of the risks associated with private equity investments. This support was a testament to the trust and confidence that the Harvard community had in the endowment's management team. Ultimately, the pursuit of outsized returns through private equity was a bold move, one that required a careful balance of risk and reward. The promise of high returns was enticing, but it came with the responsibility of ensuring that the university's financial future remained secure. As Harvard continues to navigate the ever-changing financial landscape, the lessons learned from its foray into private equity 